health technology, and I've been involved in veterinary hospital sanitation since 1989. I started the animal care division of a uh, healthcare company that was in human healthcare for over 30 years. I immediately started working with the veterinary hospitals and uh, identifying issues and problems that I saw that we could solve there, and I'm here today to share some of the ideas and resolutions that we've had in these hospitals. Um, one of the first things I, I noticed about a, in, the, in the veterinary hospital is that there was a multitude of different products being used where one product would uh, work for all, for all the uses that you're trying to get after. So um, what we're gonna, the two concepts we're going we're gonna to talk to you guys about today are absolutely the most beneficial and it's the way to simplify the sanitation at the hospital. And it's going to be a one product approach and meter dispensing. And this is very important because the more products that you have in your clinics, the more OSHA compliance issues you may have. Because we all know you have to have an SDS sheet for every single product within your facility. And you have to train your staff on where they would use these products. And so the less number of products you have, the more efficient you're going to be operating your hospital. Of course, efficiency being the least amount of time and money to get the results you're looking for. So what we did as a company is we developed a single product called Kennel Care SC. And this product uh, was developed specifically to create a one product approach for veterinary hospital cleaning and disinfection. Now one of your largest areas within the hospital to clean and disinfect on a regular basis would be your floors. Now what's a little different about animal care compared to human health care is that your patients are typically on the floor. So this is your largest area to be concerned with. And this is typically an area that a hospital would get off onto multiple products because the product you use on the tabletops or the cages or the kennels would leave the floor sticky or strip the wax or, or, or cause a, a dermatitis type skin irritation on the animals. With Kennel C, we want to talk about there's two different applications. Specifically floor care. And we have one dilution for floor care and then we have one dilution for all other cleaning. The floor care rate is a half an ounce per gallon of water. Now at a half an ounce, that's very little product to a gallon of water. And at that rate, this product will still deliver hospital grade disinfection at a cost of 25 cents a diluted gallon. At that rate, it's safe for all types of floors. It doesn't matter what type of floor you put in your facility. This is an appropriate product solution to clean and disinfect. At that rate, it won't leave the floor sticky because you don't have all the detergent. It's very important. See, if you guys use a product that's mixed at two, four, eight ounces to the gallon and don't rinse the floor, you're leaving behind too much detergent that could irritate an animal's skin when they come in contact with it. It doesn't need to be rinsed at that rate because you don't have all that detergency. Okay, and it, it will eliminate odors because it's stable. See, the thing about this product uh, at a half ounce per gallon is that it's delivering the, the disinfection required, but it doesn't have all the detergency, so you actually can do the floors where you don't rinse it. Proper technique in healthcare truly is to apply a product and then remove the product. But virtually in my 25 years of working with veterinary hospitals, the, ma the majority of them just simply mop with one solution. And you gotta remember, whatever that solution looks like in your bucket, that's what you're leaving behind to dry all over the floor for your animals, your patients to come in contact with. So that's where you end up with sticky floors and, and skin irritations and things like this because you're not picking up the cleaners. Now, at a half an ounce to a gallon of water, you don't actually have to pick the cleaner up because there's so, it's the detergent that will cause irritation that you're leaving behind. So it's a cleaning process that we're recommending, but we actually ended up developing this product so that you didn't have to rinse the floors after you applied your detergent disinfectant cleaner. For basically all other cleaning throughout the whole hospital, this product is used at two ounces to a gallon of water. At that rate, we increase the detergency for cleaning ability. The germicide has been increased to a point to where in addition to being hospital grade, it's a parvisado product at this rate. 
A two ounce to a gallon of water. This is an excellent cleaner that's safe to use on all washable surfaces. Any surface you can get wet with water. The product smells great, and something that's very, very important is that you use a product that's non-corrosive. These are two extremely important criteria for any product that you choose to use within your hospital. Again, it needs to be absolutely non-corrosive. This is a picture of a hospital that simply the, mop, the mopping solution was coming up against the door jams, and, and it corroded the door jams, and it actually makes a surface that is no longer disinfectable. The other part to a product that is extremely important is the one-year stability rating. That means this product, once it's reconstituted in the solution, is not going to break down and have to be dumped out after a few days. Um, in my opinion, uh, the facilities that have an odor problem, it's because they're using chlorine-based or sometimes peroxide-based products that after so many hours or days, they lose their ability to kill germs. And that's what's causing the odor problem because we, we really don't know unless we had test strips. We're continuously testing our product to make sure it was at the level required to be effective against the germs that are causing the odors within the hospital. So using a product, that's a good question to ask your vendors. How long is the product good after it's been mixed? Because once it goes, goes the efficacy goes away, then you're still, you're gonna have odor problems left behind. You're not killing germs, it's not doing what you want it to do. So being non-corrosive and, and being a stable chemical are two of the top criteria you want to look for in choosing a product to clean and disinfect your hospital. The next, the next concept I want to get over to you is, is meter dispensing. Meter dispensing within your hospital will cut the consumption of the product in half. It's dramatic how much it'll cut back the consumption when it's getting diluted correctly. It's going to save the staff a tremendous amount of time, and that's going to be money savings as well. They don't have to spend time trying to figure out how to mix and measure these products. It eliminates training in the area of how it's supposed to be mixed. I've seen techs uh, debate amongst themselves about how a product is supposed to be mixed or measured. And this just completely eliminates that. This system is easy and accurate and reliable. It, 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 we use a, a dispenser that takes tips. It can't come uncalibrated. OSHA compliant. OSHA, I just want you to know, OSHA prefers that your staff do not handle chemical concentrates. Okay, they much prefer a system like this where the only thing that the staff has access to is diluted, ready-to-use product. Because if there is an accident with a product where it gets in somebody's face or their eyes or wherever have you, the diluted product is far different than getting the concentrate in there. So they want you to limit your staff's handling of chemical concentrates. So that's why this is a good idea. And in our case, this dispenser has a lifetime guarantee. It is true that if you move to a one product approach, now keep in mind the average hospital uses three to five products that the one product would work for. So we're consolidating products, so it's gonna save money. We're, we're making it easier for the staff because one product as opposed to a multitude of products is gonna be easier from almost every perspective. And meter dispensing will save the average hospital three to five thousand dollars a year, both in labor, combined labor costs and product costs. I'm going to show you a little video. This just shows you Loading the dispenser.
we would like to open it up to any type of questions that you guys may have on our product or our system. Very good question. She asked, obviously the mop bucket side is set at half ounce per gallon, which is a hospital grade product. That means it's effective against salmonella, pseudomonas, uh, uh, rabies, distemper. It's virtually everything except non envelope virus like Barbara or Pan Lupini. And the trigger sprayer side is set at the stronger rate. Just walk into the exam room with the trigger sprayer that has the stronger rate, cover the area, let it sit for the contact time, then come back and pick up and then go right back to your hospital grade disinfection. But we would definitely recommend at that point what's called a double bucket cleaning procedure for hospital floors. This is what they have to do in human healthcare. That's where one side of the bucket has the product, the other side has water. You apply the product, you wring out the mop well, and pick the product back up. And this doesn't apply just to our product. This would apply to all germicidal cleaners that you're applying to the floor. Very good question. I'm very proud to say that my company has been the only company on the floor of this show and all the major veterinarian shows talking about hospital sanitation and feel that it's an extremely important topic for you guys as well as hygiene, odor control, um, laundry. These are all areas that you guys are involved in every day. Sanitation is never, it's not the glamorous end of the business. Yeah, we tell people we're in the crappy end of the animal care industry, but it's so extremely important, you guys know, because the criteria that customers use when they walk into your facility uh, is how does it look and how does it smell? And those are two of the top criteria that people will use when they're walking into your animal care facility. So it's, it's of extreme importance, and, and just by the fact that you guys are here for this little talk on sanitation means it means a lot to you. And it is a huge part of preventing cross-contamination and infection control. So I really appreciate you coming to this, to this meeting. So let's go ahead and do the drawing. Everybody has, has one. This is an $825 value right now. You can't blame me if you don't win. Okay, who do we got here? Okay, number 2651632651632. Going once. Going twice. Should we pick again? Okay, let's do it again. 265126. There you go.